Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me again. Today we're going to be playing a game on the Mega CD, which is the uh, Sega add-on to the Mega Drive. Uh, known all around the world as the Mega CD, except for one small place called North America, where it was called the Sega CD. But nevertheless, it's called the Mega CD everywhere except for America, it's called the Sega CD. And we're going to be playing Road Avenger. And Road Avenger, I haven't played much. I've only played just a very little bit at the beginning, just to get an idea of what kind of game it is. And it looks like a game much like um, those arcade classics like Dragon's Lair. Mostly quick time events. You just. It's mostly a passive experience in it, or interactive, um, interactive film. There's footage on on the screen, and according to the prompts, you react by pressing a certain button as prompted to perform the action. And if you don't press the correct button or just miss entirely, then something bad happens. In this game, it's a driving game, and uh, usually end up crashing. Now, I'm not going to go into details of what the background story of the game is because there's quite a lot of um, print in the manual. And I'm not going to read it all. But, no, but it's, it's got quite a backstory. And in fact, there's even a description for every level of the game as well. There's a little bit about each one. But... Uh, Let's not let's not beat around the bush for much longer. Let's just uh, let's just get into this. Let's let's just skip this uh, intro. Cool, uh, cool early nineties music. Let's just have a quick look at the options. So players, I'm guessing that's number of lives. Let's just max that out to five. Um, Level normal. So we've got three skill levels. No, we've got two skill levels, normal and hard. I thought there were three in the manual. Let me just check that. Level. Allows you to select the difficulty level of the game. On the normal setting, you'll receive video and sound cues. On the hard setting, you're completely on your own. So when it's time for you to perform an action, something will flash up on the screen to let me know what I've got to do. I mean, on hard, I won't have a clue. I just have to guess. Uh, it's probably only advisable to play hard after you've played through normal at least once so that you kind of know what to expect. Uh, but I'm going to stick with normal because I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. And as you can see, the controls. Well, there are only four buttons really that are relevant. We've got left, right, turbo, and brake. It doesn't really matter what these are because they're all just action buttons. And I'm just going to leave them as they are. Left is left, right is right. Turbo is A or C. I'm going to be using A, I think. And brake is B. Just makes sense to keep it at default. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get started with the game. And, uh, We'll see how we get on. This is it. We're in. Right. Left. Left. And so on. You get the picture. Break. can predict sometimes, like, if I see that the car's gone too far to the left, then I can assume that I'm going to have to go right. 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 Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed brake instead of turbo. I knew something was going to come up. Just didn't know which one. See, at the beginning, 
falling, falling at almost the first hurdle, really, right at the beginning. See, it's all identical. It doesn't really matter what you do. The game's just going to be the same every time. It's just a matter of whether you succeed or fail. Not necessarily how you do it. Love those car designs. And now I pressed uh, turbo inst instead of brake by accident. Yeah, left. time. It's easy to hit the wrong button in the heat of the moment. I don't have to start all the way at the beginning this time. If it's any other kind of game, you'd kind of think, well, maybe I should try a different tactic. But, but it doesn't enter into it. There are no tactics, it's just speed. And thick and fast. Oh, the left. I wasn't expecting it to be a left, I guess. afraid to blink. Oh, you know what? I did press turbo, but then I I accidentally hit the brake as well. <laughs> okay. I wonder if the continue will mean I'll have to start right at the beginning of the uh, whole sequence. Seems I didn't finish a level. Yeah, this is the start of the game. Okay. We're going to do it this time. Now in my little test run, I didn't get that far. So everything here on in is new territory. But there's three rights here.
people. That was quite a good run. I pressed brake instead of turbo at that moment. I go all the way back here again. I might at least be on the other side of the pier. Well, I am starting to learn what to expect. I knew that was going to be a break. And now it's all direction from here until we get to the other end of the pier and then it's a turbo. Stage clear, awesome. And I get a 10,000 point bonus for my trouble. quick enough on that turbo. Well, that was a pretty good run. I thought I was going to clear that whole stage in, in one run. You don't have much time to get that turbo. That was just one second, I'm sure. Let's try this again. Come on. Oh, I guess I didn't hold left for long enough. Oh no. I was ready to anticipate that turbo that I keep missing. I did it again! Oh, I didn't. I definitely pressed left, but I must have released it too early. Oh, no. Okay, let's start this stage again. <laughs> 
Oh, you only get three credit. Hmm. myself 30,000 points. I'll just point out at this stage that I am playing this on an actual Mega CD 2 console attached to a Mega Drive 2 um, using a using a standard Mega Drive 3 button controller. So this is all real hardware. It just as the screen went away. to be a turbo over that ramp. Uh oh, oil slick. Stage three clear now as well. Oh wow! You know, I wonder if this game was inspired in part by Mad Max, because I'm getting a bit of a Mad Max vibe out of this. This is the last. Oh no! They're getting uh, quicker and quicker. Oh, 
Deus. with this good in real time. <laughs> cool. That's stage four clear now. I don't know how many stages there are altogether. I'm just going to have a quick look. Because there is a description for every single level. Uh, stages. Here we go. Seaside cruise. Long way down. Freeway firefight. Factory tour. That's what we just did. Four. Over the river, through the woods, turn for the worst, drive through the country, city lights, final showdown. Hmm. So there's six more. We've done four, six to go, so there's ten altogether. These stages aren't too long. That's stage five. I'm halfway through the game. Now I've got the hang of it. My reaction speed has improved.
jump. That's stage six clear. I'm doing great now. Awesome. I, yes, the lefts and the rights, they're not, they're not a, bit, a big issue. It's quite clear to see what I'm supposed to do with those because they're on the far, far edges of the screen. It's the difference between turbo and brake. And identifying those quickly and distinguishing them is, uh, is quite difficult to do. I'm doing all right. Oh, I pressed turbo. See, that's what I mean. Something appears in the middle, and it could be one of two buttons. break. Should have been turbo. What have we got? Any more lives? Didn't hit it properly. Yeah. Okay. Doing great though. Doing great. Just take a sip before I continue. Into the tunnel. The lights are on. break. I 
did the same thing. I pressed it, but I didn't press it for long enough for it to register. Anticipating the next one, I think. <laughs> and there, I didn't know what was coming next. I pressed turbo instead of brake. Um, yeah, we can do this. I have lost count of the stages. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the next one. It's probably seven, maybe? sure I got that turbo quickly enough. Afraid to blink because I missed something. Oh, I was expecting it to be a directional instruction. Is that it? Game over. Gosh, we did really well. Technically, my first go. A aside from the uh, little test I did. This was really my first proper playthrough, and I think I did really well to get that far. My score was dire, I died a lot, and I used up all my continues, but... What did I do? Make it to level 7? Just have a quick look at the levels. Let's see. I did Seaside Cruise, Long Way Down, Three Way Firefight, Factory Tour, Wolf team. Over the river, through the woods, turn for the worst, that's the sewer, drive through the country, that was level 8. And then it would have just been city lights and final showdown. I made it to level 8, I completed 7 levels. Okay. okay, I think that's enough for one session. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I'd never played Road Avenger before. Never even played any Mega CD thing before, to be honest. Never had one back in the day. I really enjoyed it. So, I don't know what we're going to do next time, but hopefully you'll come and join me again. Please leave a comment on what you thought, and uh, if there's any games that you'd like to see me have a go at, then please let me know, and I'll see if I can oblige. Anyway, have a great day. See you again soon. Thanks.